today I want to talk about farm improvements. This year we're going to be uh, working on a bunch of stuff with our boiler and our sterilization system and today I'm working on an auto refill system so we can heat up the water in our boilers faster and save energy and save money on propane. So right now we fill these boilers uh, with about 50 gallons of water and it takes about three and a half hours uh, to heat up uh, and then they start pushing steam in our sterilization unit. Uh, right now I'm running just a batch right here and you know three three and a half three hours of uh, heating up water in about a year's worth of time for our, for our farm which runs about eight months out of the year we're looking at saving about two thousand dollars in energy costs if we can heat that water up quicker and the solution is going to be auto filling our boilers with water so that water continuously keeps adding to the system we use less propane but it's constantly filling up and heating up so today I'm going to talk about that design what I'm going to be working on and I'll show you the layout and then hopefully in about a week or so I'll have some success and I'll be able to show you uh, what we've done so I'm just starting to lay out the parts right now and start thinking about how to build this uh, but basically we're going to use this bucket uh, to continuously fill up our boiler with water and the the real heart of the system here is going to be this fill valve this is just a, a typical fill valve that you're going to see in your toilet water is going to enter in here and then shoot out here and then as the water uh, fills up the bucket so will this valve which will then shut it off and then as water uh, is pulled into the boilers water the water level in the bucket uh, will then trigger water to enter into the fill valve. So here is the uh, supply. Uh, we have PVC uh, just coming off an irrigation line that I'm going to uh, redirect so we'll have a tap here uh, that we can fill up the boiler with. And then we I made a connection that uh, sizes down to a uh, half inch PEX. Just a water shutoff valve uh, that I can turn on and off uh, when I'm not using the system. Uh, and then this uh, is actually a bulkhead fitting which I will cut uh, I'll cut a hole just in the bottom of this bucket here uh, this fitting will go inside the bucket uh, this will go on outside and then the uh, the rubber gasket here will uh, go between and that'll snug up between the buckets so no water uh, will drain out and then the uh, the side that's going to fill to the boiler, uh, again this will come out uh, from the bottom and I've just made a gasket here, same idea, bulkhead. This will go into a check valve so that water can actually only go into the boilers but water from the boilers can't go up so it uh, only allows water flow to go one way. Um, then we have this getting sized down to a union so that I can actually disconnect the whole system from the bucket system when I don't want to use it and then reconnect it uh, when we're ready to go. Uh, this will then come to a T uh, half inch uh, PEX, which will then fit into uh, two valves on either side. And then both of these lines will then run to the boiler. And then our boilers, we actually have just like a hose uh, male end fitting. So we have a female end that will then uh, just thread right on there. So the idea is, is that the bucket will be at the height of the boiler where we want the water to fill so that gravity is just going to uh, offset the water line and the water will balance between the boiler and the bucket continuously. And then as water evaporates out of the boiler, the water level from the bucket will slowly trickle down and then that'll trigger the fill valve to fill back the bucket and then the water is gonna wanna equal out, equal out between uh, both boilers. Well, I hope you found this helpful. That is what we're working on right now. And if you're looking uh, to, looking for some more educational opportunities, we're offering a uh, mentorship program on our website at www.wtfmushrooms.com. Um, I've already filled uh, two spots and I'm looking to fill six more spots this year. And hopefully I'll talk to you soon. Thanks again.